young Jesus and he responded to them, why do you seek me? Don't you know I'm about my father's business? Meaning you're looking for me because I guess they were frantic looking for him like, oh my gosh, where is this kid? And at a young age, he's like, don't you know I'm about my father's business? There's only one place I would be. There's only one thing that I would be doing and that's spending time with my father or you know fulfilling his purpose and will from my life so I always tell the people who enjoy my content because I hate calling people followers but I always tell them that your purpose does not care about your feelings your purpose doesn't care about your tears your purpose doesn't care about your experiences your purpose is on a mission and that's to see you fulfill your purpose. Jesus looked at his parents, his earthly parents and said, why do you seek me? Why are you looking for me? There's only one place I would be, right? No need to worry, no need to get frantic, no need to go crazy. I am fulfilling my father's purpose. I am about his business for my life. Your purpose doesn't care about your mother. It doesn't care about your father. It doesn't care about your kids. It doesn't care about your life experiences. Everything you go through in life is to prepare you for your purpose. Everything you encounter in life is to um, catapult you into your purpose. If you wait to see what uh, life is going to bring or what your next move is going to be, understand this. The enemy has a whole blueprint on how to destroy your life. So if you're just sitting and waiting for the next best thing, for the you know what's going to come? The enemy. You've made room for the enemy. You've made room for the forces that be in which you cannot see even for the forces that be in which you can see. Because sometimes your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your cousins are your enemies, right? So you're waiting around for, you know, like she said, approval, applause, you know? You're waiting for permission. You're waiting for someone to say, job well done. Your purpose don't care about any of that. It's here to do one thing and make sure you live that purpose out, to make sure you walk that purpose out. You know, some of you should just say, you know, push me into my purpose. Push me into my purpose. That's why that's what I asked God to do. Push me. And that pushed it and feel good because when he pushes you into your purpose, that means there are going to be a lot of people that have to move out of the way. And the same people that has to move out of the way is the same people that you were waiting on to give you, I apologize, to give you your great, to give you your awesome. It's not coming. Your purpose doesn't care about none of that. Your purpose is on a mission. One thing. So you can see that. So you can walk it out. That's it. And I had to learn that. And learning that was difficult because you want the I'm sorry's. You want the I love you's. You want the you're great. You want your mother and father to approve of your decisions. You want your children to be happy of the choices that you've made. You want the world to look at you like you are a superstar. But let me tell you something. Your purpose doesn't care about none of that. The tears that you cried last night, your purpose don't care about that. You know? Your, your, your pillow collected tears, that's it. And it's not to be mean, because some people, they take it as, oh, you're being harsh, but this is the reality. The truth hurts. And the truth hurts, and by it hurting, it's only going to set you free. No one got set free by hearing lies. No one was set free by being told false things, false narratives. No one was set free by being fed... Um, <sighs> crap you can only be set free by hearing hearing and hearing the truth that's it and as much as you say you're mean because you know my my family will tell me a lot oh you're not you could have said that nicer you could have no 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 i can't i can't i can't say it nicer 
I can't. Some things don't need to be sugar-coated. One thing I'm not going to do is pacify your emotions. If I pacify your emotions, it doesn't make you, uh, it doesn't allow you to grow. You'll stay a toddler forever. You'll stay calm-minded forever. It, you will not grow. You won't get past a certain stage. I'm here to tell you. You can cry. That's fine. But get up and start all over again. Start all over again. Pick it back up where you left off. You know what I'm saying? Dust your shoulder off. At first you don't succeed. Dust, dust it off and try again. Remember that song? Aliyah. And it's at first you don't succeed. Let yourself exactly. up and try again. Exactly. At first you don't succeed. Dust yourself off and try again. Some of you, it's, I'm gonna, it's like this. So I'm like, okay, I'm getting like a 40 now. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm getting like adult acne. I, I've never had acne as a teenager. What's going on? You know, body's changing, hormones are changing. And so I bought some facial products, right? So I'm thinking these facial products that I bought two days ago, I'm going to see a miracle the next day. You know, things are, things take time. It's a process. And so I'm, I'm ready to dump this, this cleanser out, dump this uh, serum out because I'm like it's not working but how do I know it's not working I you have to give things time you have to give it time you know what I'm saying so that's all I wanted to share that's all I wanted to say is that your purpose does not care about your feelings <laughs>